What's good everybody, it's Andy. I found a 2019 grill insert for my taco. Mine's a 17. Uh, I didn't get the Pro, but I do like the TRD off-road grills from the 19 a lot better than the 17. So, so I don't crack this for 50 bucks and said, why not? So I'm gonna replace that with this, and I'm gonna use this to make it match that. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is clean this thing then primer it, then paint it, and put it on. Using some Rust-Oleum truck bed coating spray and their primer. Got the grill insert broken into the two main pieces. I'm gonna take some painter's tape and cover this because this is all glossy. I'm gonna keep that the way it is and just make this piece and this piece black to match the bumpers. All right, so I'm an idiot and picked up duct tape instead of painters tape which didn't turn out to be a huge ordeal because I didn't put this on anything with paint on it but it did make cutting it a little bit more tedious all primed up and ready for some bed liner right, while that stuff's drying I'm gonna go ahead and take out the old insert some screws there some tabs there should be able to just lift and pull man I am actually pretty shocked how easy that was to get off it wasn't more than those two bolts and the tabs. And then I just lifted and pulled. So now, I just gotta get all these screws out and then work the tabs out to pull it out of the frame with the body paint on it. And then I can put the other one in. So the old grill insert is out. And that was probably the most tedious part because you have to work these little tabs out and the way they're fixed in, they're pretty tight. And I always have an issue with stuff like this because I've got these massive man hands and I tend to break these pretty easily. All right, so the primer's dry. I'm gonna grab the bed liner spray and get to work. Got my first coat on. I'm gonna give that some time to dry, but it's looking pretty good. Look at all these bugs. Sorry, dudes. I'm gonna have to clean you off. So I got it back on. Now I'm going to start working this tape off very carefully around the edges. So it doesn't peel what I sprayed on off. One thing that I forgot to mention was how I got this around the emblem to be so snug. All right, so I laid the tape over it just like you normally would. And then I took my fingernail and I kind of left the imprint there and then I took a razor blade and I followed it as slowly and as precisely as I could. So now all I have to do is peel it back. And done. Not bad for 50 bucks for the grill, seven bucks for the bed liner spray and four for the primer. Love DIYs, man. A little different look. I like it. I hope this helps some of you guys that are thinking about maybe switching out your grill insert. I had fun doing it. Thanks for watching. I've got my Prince Who Rack coming in next week as well as my CVT tent. So I'll make some videos about those as soon as I can. All right. See you soon.